If you want to dive into AI editing for your wedding photography, then today's video is going to be right up your alley. Hey, I'm Marcy from Heirloom Presets, and on this channel, I help photographers elevate their editing. And because AI is such a relevant topic right now, I thought I would give you some videos to help you learn all about it. In this video, I'm going to talk about a few things, which AI tool I'm actually talking about, why you should care about it, the step-by-step -step process of using my favorite software, Imagine AI, and how you can also try it out for free. There's so much helpful information in this video, so let's get started. There are a lot of AI tools all over the place for business and just life in general. So the AI tool that I'm referring to, it's not the Photoshop like generative AI, or it's not the Lightroom AI tools up here. That's different, but I am referring to the actual batch editing of your weddings, which we talk about wedding photography a lot on this channel. So I feel like this is really relevant for that. And just remember, this is for Lightroom classic editing. It has to be classic, not mobile. What I'm going to show you today is how to reduce your bulk editing time, like batch editing, not, you know, extra touch ups and things, but just your overall editing in your editing style. For many photographers, this is probably the most time consuming part. Let me give you a few reasons why you should care about this, and then we'll jump into this step by step. There are a million and one things to do in your business, right? That's not even including your personal life. But all the different tasks in your business, if you could cut out the extra time from editing and use that towards other aspects of your business, that is like a no brainer to me. So number one is saving you time. I'm going to say like 90% of your time of editing is probably cut out. Okay. Number two, really and truly affordable. My software is five cents an image and like one cent for, you know, certain extra things. Like I like to do straightening. I don't do the crop feature, but I do the straightening feature. That would be like six cents total. So when you do the math, it's extremely affordable. Okay, so another reason why you should care is that you'll be able to spend any of your editing time on the more important things. You can polish your images really well. Object removal, you can touch up skin, you can do all the extra things that make your images go from here to here. So you'll be able to free up that extra time. You'll also have so much more availability to improve your shooting technique because no matter if you are manually editing or using AI to assist you, you are going to get such better results from either one if you are shooting correctly, if you have those technical skills, if your images are consistent. I've edited for a lot of private editing clients and the one thing hands down that gives you the final results in the best way, in the fastest way, easiest is consistent shooting and awesome technical skills. They know how to use their flash. It comes out the same every time. The exposure levels don't go up and down like this. So yes, we can correct for all of that, but if you wanna get there faster and easier and be consistent with really solid images, then your shooting technique is gonna be really important. And you'll be able to spend so much more time on that instead of the back-end post-processing. I suggest that you embrace this technology and at least try it out to see if it will work well in your business. Okay, now to the step-by-step -step process. So let's talk about my favorite Imagine AI software. The thing that I love about this is that it is not a plugin, it is an app. So you have this app that you basically will pull your images into and then it will do all the little magic and then you'll be able to download them back onto your computer. It uses Lightroom smart previews catalogs, not raw files, you're not uploading JPEGs. So I've been using this for the past year with my private editing clients and streamlining the process and my workflow to make it work for my business. That's why I have multiple profiles on there. Like I said, it's not a plugin. I've tried other companies that have a plugin and I just don't really like the process. This is faster to get results that you like. You'll be using your images. You'll be fine tuning the profile over time. It learns the more weddings you edit or photos that go through the system. 
the more it will give you a really awesome result. Also, they're just really friendly. Whenever I talk to people over at Imagine, it's it's like they're just looking out for your best interest. They really want you to succeed as a photographer. Sometimes the relationships that you create with people and businesses that you like to support are just as important as the product itself. So because I've had such a great experience over this past year, I decided to partner with Imagine and I have some heirloom preset news that I'll be able to share shortly. You'll probably figure it out <laughs> from what I'm using in this video. Anyways, I'll talk about that more in a little bit, but because I am partnering with them, you'll be able to get 1500 free edits to try. So, I mean, that's like one or two weddings or quite a few sessions that you can run through the system and try it out really well. I think you can get a thousand free edits if you go straight to their website. So be sure to grab the specific link in the description box and you'll be able to get 1500 free edits to try. So that's kind of step one is grab that link and create an account. Then step two is you're going to go into the profiles and you're going to create your own profile. So this is, you have two options here, a light personal AI profile or a personal AI profile. I definitely recommend the personal. The light is for those who maybe don't have a lot of images that they have uploaded yet. I haven't used it, but I'm guessing it just takes longer to learn your style when you're starting with like nothing. But if you upload at least 3000 photos under the personal AI profile, then it will be able to learn a lot faster and get to know your style. So you'll create this profile. Normally raw is what I'd be working with. You need to pick color or black and white, which is why you might have a few different profiles created eventually, but we'll just say color. I'm just going to name the profile and then you can select which type of images you're usually using on both of these. Now, choosing a Lightroom Classic catalog. This is where Imagine learns your style. Okay, so they're gonna analyze the data that you upload. If you don't know what a Lightroom catalog is, let me just hop over here. So this, you'll see at the top, the name of the catalog, L-R-C-A-T. We're gonna select all of your wedding, and then you're gonna go export as catalog. So this is gonna create a smart previews catalog, and then you'll find your folder and name it whatever you want. Do not include export negative files. So uncheck that box, but we're going to build smart previews and include a few available previews. And then you'll create that catalog, and that is what you're going to upload to here. Now, for this initial training process, you're going to take edited images already that you've done and do the same process. So you're going to upload catalogs from previous weddings and it's going to learn. But in the future, when you start to upload, this is the same thing. You're going to be uploading unedited Lightroom catalogs. For this one, you can either create like a, a large catalog with th more than 3000 images in it and upload that. Or you can just go through and find all your separate wedding catalogs that you want to upload. And once you start uploading, it will give you like a remaining amount of images left that you need to add in order to get the profile finished. So just to show you, this is what happens when you export a catalog. You'll have this Lightroom catalog file and then data files added to it. But when you upload, it's just going to find these Lightroom catalog files right there. And you'll just click on one of those. And I'm currently using it, so <laughs> that's why we can't upload that. Be sure to choose weddings that have like your best editing style, the ones that you're most happy with. That way it's learning the style that you really want to succeed in. Then once you get those uploaded, it will just work and you can click out of the app even. It'll email you and give you, I think like 24 hours is how long it takes at the most to get the profile um, ready and then you'll get that email and it will be ready to use. Okay, so next step in the process, now that you have your account ready, you have your profile ready, and now you get to do your first job. So you can go to the profiles and use to edit, pick your profile, or you can just go to projects, create a new project. We do have calling options. I am not a huge fan at this moment. I assume that it will get better. I mean, it's in beta, so 
maybe later I'll try it out. But at the moment, I just prefer doing the edit. We'll do weddings and I'm going to run this wedding and show you how it is. Smooth skin, it's a new tool. Okay, so let's just do, I'm gonna name this project. Okay, we're choosing a profile. I'm gonna choose straighten. I don't choose crop because it does, it does, I mean, it's it's deciding what it thinks looks best. And sometimes I think that you might have a different view. Try it out though. I mean, like you can try it and see, but I just don't want to crop as much photo out to start with. So the straighten is good. And then I can decide if I want to do the crops. Subject mask and smooth skin are also options here. I'm going to choose not edited. I'm going to, um, depending on how you label, color label and stars and, you know, flags, that's how you can decide. So if you have some of them already edited and you want to make sure that they don't go through, then you're just going to pick like all the unflagged ones or whatever label you want. Sorry, I goofed. I have messed with these images, so they are not considered not edited. So I'm going to uncheck that. You can just double check how many photos are in your little total right there. So when I say not edited, it wasn't picking the right ones. Just depends on however you label your stuff as to which ones it's going to find. Okay, you get those, they are good. Now I'm gonna upload this. Here is the uploader. It's going to tell you like where it is at in the process and it'll give you a percentage. This says I've got 150 in there. I just picked a bunch of like favorites from this wedding. So it's not like the whole wedding, but it's some of them. We're skipping the coal and review section and we're just doing edit, review, and fine tune. This is a different project. So this is the one that we're waiting on. And when it's ready in 30 seconds, I will come back. My upload is finished. Now it's in the process of the editing right here. So when I get the email notification that it's done is when I will come back and I will time that for you guys. Okay, five minutes later. So I got my email, your edits are ready. We saved you 1.2 hours. Awesome, okay, so we go to the app. This is a little video if you need to watch it, but we're gonna go in here. We see it's been edited, now we are going to review it. So, download to review. Open catalog. See how easy it is, you guys? It's like, love easy software that makes sense. So it's open my images and now it's going to render all the edits that it has made. You can kind of see they're popping up. Let's make this bigger. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at that edit. Boom. I love it. See, so it's straightening some well, it's straining all of them, but that just gets you like that much closer. And if you want to change the actual crop now for some of my clients, they want like a four by three crop or something. So after I do the straightening, then I will select all of these and just apply like a batch, you know, four by three and then go from there. But if you are doing the original ratio, then you're good to go. Sometimes it's just fun to watch these pop up and you're like, ooh. <laughs> I did include all aspects of this wedding day. They are looking really nice. Color and exposure levels are really great. I included some reception too. Images like this, like I know I'm going to have to do a little extra work on those because there's so much color cast going on with the blue and the yellow and whatever, but See how like the consistency of this photographer and how they are shooting so well, it makes the edits look so nice too. Here comes all of the reception photos, which are looking so lovely. Okay, awesome. So that was like super easy, right? Once you are in here, you're going to make your edits, do your final tweaks. If you want to crop anything, whatever you need to do. It has applied my profile base. It's applied 
adjustments. It figures out wait, that one's pretty good. Color adjustments. It's just like amazing. And it's all based on how you edit. So that's what the cool thing about this is it's so customized. I don't feel like I'm gonna have to be, you know, doing too many adjustments. I'm definitely nitpicky, so you know, I would go through and work on these just a little bit. But they are looking pretty spectacular. I think Imagine did an amazing job on these. Let's say we're all finished with that, right? After you're done, you know, deliver your images, whatever, you're going to come back in here and you're going to upload. I'll do this one because it was a past client. And so I upload that and it's going to go upload final edit. That way, the next, like it's going to learn. So you have to you know, if it's not quite getting exactly the results you want, then make sure that you are uploading final edits so that it can adjust how it works. And I'm telling you guys, it's like the more photos I up, like I have some clients who have like 10 or 15,000 images in here already. Those are the ones that just run so smooth. Like I don't have to do tons of work to them because it's learned so well. So make sure to get those final edits uploaded. That just takes a couple minutes. There's that, and then it will go away. Now, for an example, this particular client, we've got almost 14,000 in there. And at the next level of 19,000 is when it's going to do like a whole new fine tune. So it'll be even more specific. Uh, it does that at certain intervals of how many photos you've uploaded. Can you tell I love this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> So obviously, I absolutely think that you should try this out. 1500 free edits when you use my link that you can grab in the description box. And it's like, why not, right? Even if it's just for the fun of it. <laughs> so embrace technology, my friends. Do remember that you need a consistent shooting style. You need consistent editing before you get started in order to get the best results. If you want a shortcut to an editing style, you love heirloom presets and you want to use Imagine AI for edits. I have an awesome project I've been working on and it's probably kind of obvious, but I'll talk about it in the next video. So it's going to be really fun. If you want to hop on the email list at heirloompresets.com slash VIP or just head to the website and click join the list, you can pop in your name and email and I will notify you when that video drops. So. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.